shower and just checking in, see what's going on. Probably the yard guy will get to you. Okay. You can only go to one door, and that door is occupied. Once they get rid of him, for a time frame, you know, if it's yeah, bored, it's bored, I don't know. That's on the other side of the building. That's on the other side of the building. Nobody you can talk to. I can do nothing. So someone else is already in the door from yesterday. Yes. So as soon as they get out, the yard guy is gonna go get you. He's so gonna I, get. Oh, so you I got know. here at one thirty in the morning last night, and she said she's the first me. one. But I mean, why didn't she just let me know, like, hey, we're gonna get back to you at like nine in the morning? Because at night time is a different shift. At night time, they don't take care of nobody up there. So why didn't she tell me that? She just said, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll come get you. And that was one thirty in the morning. So I was waiting all night. Because she didn't know about that. They told well, her after. That's kind of grabby though. She right? told you get asleep because you're waiting driver? at the truck driver. That's another side of the building that that's we don't got. We don't business. business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just a human yeah. being trying to look for my family. Like, like I said, the yard guy is gonna go get you. So just wait in my truck. Yes, sir. Okay. Thanks, man. That's what you're gonna deal with out here. Get here 1 30 in the morning. And that's how they treat you. Don't get too frustrated, but man, you're not treated as a human being out here. You're just a person with a truck. They don't care about your sleep schedule, nothing. So I just talked to this guy. He got here at 5 a.m. for a six o'clock appointment. He's still been waiting. So if you see, if you see that name right there. Any single one of these that I've ever gone to, Quaker Pepsi, probably one of the worst shipper receivers I've ever been to. So just have that in mind. You're going to be in there for a long haul waiting. And I'm going on hour number nine waiting after being told that uh, they'll be right with me and the yard dog will come get me. And he's saying there's a, there's a truck in the door. That is trucking life. God bless and try to stay positive out here. It is hard sometimes. All right, so that's my kind of rant for this morning. Try to get here a little early. Um, luckily that parking for you, that's the only good thing out of this whole situation, so I could park in here. But last night the guard could have told me, hey, we don't do it at night, but she was like, hey, we'll come get you when we're ready for you. Um, just go park in the yard. She could have been like, hey, they don't start till 8 a.m. and uh, go ahead and get some sleep. They don't care about your sleep schedule. That's, a, I think, one of the biggest problems with people crashing sometimes or, or uh, road fatalities out here is that the shippers and receivers don't give you a time frame, don't let you know. They could take my phone number, give me an update, they could text me, any kind of that stuff. They don't care. You can see in this video right here as the way they talk to you. They call you a driver, and uh, it's on their schedule, and it's kind of like they get a high out of it. But, I mean, that poor guy I just took a video of. He was, he's been here. He's pissed off, too. Uh, it's just a waste of time, waste your money. You could already be unloaded. I mean, if you had a forklift for yourself, you could unload your own trailer. This trailer was loaded in 20 minutes. So, I mean, just efficiency out here is mind boggling. Pepsi, I've never had a good experience with them um, at any of their locations, either picking up their granola bars or Quaker or they're actually Pepsi products. Um, I've picked up Mountain Dew before, but this, I actually have bottle caps right now for their production. So, and it was like a check call every two hours coming down here. And they're like, this needs to be there for production. They need this, these parts. Well, obviously they don't because it's now 9 o'clock or uh, 9.15. Uh, I had an 8 o'clock appointment, but last night I got here early, like I said, and she said, yeah, we'll come get you. And I'm like, okay, why don't you say, hey, we're not going to come get you till 8, 10 a.m., whatever. Just a truck in the thing, but a little rant. Um, don't normally do these ones, but this is just something that if you're a new guy coming out here or you're a company driver and you've had the same route and they've kind of always said the same thing, you're going to run into stuff like this where you want to get out of Florida go make some more money for your family and a simple unloading of a trailer that should take 15 to 20 30 minutes uh it's like they go on break they got their own time schedule and they get a kind of a high out of just like screw you driver we're uh it's our schedule i'm like cool man i'm not trying to be in an argument with you i'm just trying to make money and uh get going so rant for the day stay stay safe out there god bless keep trucking And I got one more little thing I want to add. Um, when you're booking these loads, it gives you even more power against these uh, brokers or apps or whatever questions, questions you can submit with the apps is uh, ask them who it's going to because a lot of times they won't show you who the receiver is or the ratings on it, and there's a reason. It's because it's a place like this where you're losing so much more time. So it's not just that load you're getting. Or They were trying to push this load for me for 1050 then it was 11, like uh, zero hour. And then when it came to zero, zero hour, where they're like, we have to get this picked up. They finally agreed to my 15, $1,500. So luck I got that much money on it coming down here for 500 miles, $3 into my into Florida is good, especially in the Orlando area. Um, I'm gonna have to deadhead out of here, head up to Savannah or head up to um, Macon, kind of 
you can go up to Atlanta side or up to the seaboard, Savannah side. So I always go seaboard because it's closer to my house. So, but sometimes I'll go the other way if there's more loads towards Atlanta. But anyways, food for thought, when you're booking these loads, ask them where it's going because um, that gives you even more firepower. Say, oh, it's going to Pepsi. Uh, let's see, Pepsi's really bad. Um, a lot of the, the food manufacturing places are bad. Uh, and now even that's why Uber took their detention down to $40 instead of 75 Because if this is an Uber load, that'd be an extra $300 I'm getting right now on top of 1500 So, But Uber never has that great of rates. You can't, you can't bid on them on Uber Freight. You, they're just their rate. But later in the day, as it gets closer to the time when they're needing to pick up, they start bumping up the the dollar signs on that uh, Uber freight load, but um, it gets to the point where you almost have to be sitting right where the Uber freight load is picking up because uh, you know, they don't give you any time to get there, so they don't book the bump the loads up. So Uber needs to work on their platform, and they just lowered their detention exactly because of this situation right here. So food for thought when you're booking your load, ask them where it's going. It gives you a lot more firepower if it's PepsiCo or um, any of the other food places because um, uh, they take forever to unload you. So yeah, food for thought. All right, guys, take care. I'm done with the rants, and I will see you next time. The Just Trucking.